nicest man in the world. Very good kisser too. Don't tell his wife. Hi, I'm Emma Thompson. Last time I checked, and this is first and last for Tyler. The first fake news story printed about me was I had a lesbian affair in Sweden overnight when I was opening, yeah, seriously, um, and the, literally totally made up. And I was there with my mother, having made a film with my mother. The last fake news story printed about me was that I had flown in from Los Angeles to join the Extinction Rebellion um, protest, which was utter balls. I came home from work and I joined the protest because it was there. My first on-screen kiss, Jeff Goldblum in The Tall Guy. We had to spend three days naked doing a sex scene, which was then subsequently picked up by the campaign against pornography, who said they would use that sex scene to show their children about sex. Partly because at one point I ended up with buttered toast on my bum. My last on-screen kiss was with Stanley Tucci in the Children Act. The nicest man in the world. Very good kisser too, don't tell his wife. The first time I got drunk, um, the first time I got really properly, absolutely arseholed. When I got to university, there was a this outdoor thing one day during the day and we were drinking Kia, which is white wine with like Ribena in it. And I had locked myself out of my college room and so I had to open the window and I came in over the lip of the window and threw up all over the floor so landed into a sort of carpet of vom. The last time I got drunk um, was Wednesday. Uh, my first starstruck moment, okay I met when I was about 30 um, I was I knew this wonderful director called Mike Nichols, so you might know about you might not. He introduced me to Harrison Ford. I went to meet him at Paramount, and I'll never forget the conversation because Harrison speaks very slowly. And I was speaking very, very, very fast because I'm terribly excited. So it was like a record being played. You won't understand what I'm talking about because you don't know what records are, but it was like on the turntable, you know, with the vinyl was being played. It's like speaking a different language. My last starstruck moment meeting Nelson Mandela on his 90th birthday. Yeah, that's, that was a big one. My first film role was an impromptu, uh, an aristocrat with a wig on that made me look like a cocker spaniel. And my last film role is um, The Baroness in Cruella, which I'm doing at the moment, which is why I've got these nails, because I obviously wouldn't normally have these nails, because I'm not that sort of woman, just in case you were thinking I was. The first time I noticed everyday sexism, I mean, I became a kind of card-carrying feminist when I was about 19. So I think that the first time I really noticed it was when I discovered feminist literary criticism when I was studying English. I, my whole paper on the novel was feminist based and I was definitely marked down on it because I know I did a good paper. So, <laughs> the last time I noticed everyday sexism um, was when I was on set, but I counted the people on the set and there were 30 men and four women. Yeah. Okay, my first trip to Hollywood was when I was 14 and my dad took us to the supermarket but it was amazing to me that you could buy bacon and makeup in the same place <laughs> that was the first time and my last trip to Hollywood was this year I was in Hollywood for my 60th birthday um, and I spent it reading in the sun the first time I fell in love, I was upside down, hanging off a clothes trolley in a school production of Peter Rabbit, and Matthew Fox was upside down too, and we were seven. And the last time I fell in love, I simply cannot feel. Hi, I'm still Emma Thompson, and that was first and last for Tyler. Thanks, guys. So much fun, much more fun than normal interviews. So much has changed that the language, even for items, would you use the word record?